Hello folks, this is Mike Kaylee 7 coming to you from my backyard. I'm holding my little GoPro Hero 7 that I keep dropping. I think that's this camera's destiny, is to be dropped as many times as possible to stress test it. So, today I would like to show you some of my uh, regular daily gear. Not the complete gear, but for the most part. So, I'll start with the top of my head. This is my do-rag. I wear my do-rag because it keeps the inside of my helmet from getting too stinky too fast, which means I don't have to wash those pads as often. Uh, plus, uh, it helps me with the helmet hair. I don't want to get that helmet all hairy. I don't want to get my hair all crazy, even though it does anyway. Also, it goes over my ears, so when I put my helmet on, it doesn't fold my ears down. So that's a good thing, too. So I like this. Uh, they have uh, freeze-out versions of this. I have not gotten one yet, so eh, maybe eventually. But I've never been cold. My head never gets cold. It's, that's the hottest part of the body, right? I don't know. And probably I lose heat from my head, right? And then the rest of me gets cold. But the rest of me ain't cold either because I'm fat. So anyway, let's uh, first show you my standard gear for my helmet. So there's me looking at the helmet. And so here we go. Zoom it in here. That's a GoPro Hero 8. It's got a very basic mount and uh, I'm gonna have to replace that soon because this is getting kind of wiggly as you can see so I'm gonna replace that it's been about six years so I might as well get a new one I got them in the mail coming I got my Cena 10c Evo and I've got some velcro on here so I can attach a battery pack if I ever need to which I have in the past quite often uh, this sun visor on the Arai helmet comes with the helmet, so somebody was asking, what kind of visor is that? Well, that's an Arai original equipment visor for the sun. They don't put it inside the helmet because it, it uh, putting it inside the helmet compromises the safety of the helmet. The absolute safest thing is to have a solid shell all around, and by slicing the the foam inside or whatever, to make one of these things fit inside compromises the safety, or so they say. Uh, it's also not modular, so I cannot lift the chin bar. Again, for safety, Arai makes a pretty damn good helmet. This is the Arai uh, Corsair X, or 10. Had it for about a year and a half now, I guess. Two years? I don't remember anymore. Anyway. So, I really like it. It's the best helmet I've ever had. I have a showy in there, too. But, uh, I mean, it's nice. But this is this is the Cadillac of helmets. All right, my gloves. These are the uh, Dainese X-Strike gloves. Let me see if I can show you the writing on it. Dainese X-Strike. They've got titanium knuckles. They've got this uh, thing on the side over here that keeps your pinky from bending the wrong way if you go down. It's got all the plastic and the, the you know, hard stuff. So if you go down, you're not going to lose your hands. No degloving. It's got this thing to slide on the road if you're, you know, sliding down the road. Uh, notice it's not a gauntlet. It's a just a short glove. I hate gauntlet gloves because I can't fit them inside my sleeves of my jacket. Remember that video? Go watch it. It's called As Embarrassing As It Is Funny. And you'll see why I don't wear the gauntlet gloves anymore. But I do have them as a backup. So these are the Dainese X-Strike gloves. I really like these. All right, moving on. <clears throat> Let's go over here to my vest. This is my Cumbear vest. It's a Chinese make. And it's a electrically heated. Let me see if I can show you. The battery goes in here. It's about the size of a cell phone. And you just push that button, hold that down, and you get three levels of heat. And it's pretty darn good. It even heats up in the neck area. So that's a beautiful addition 
keeps you nice and toasty on the long rides. All right, and here's my main jacket. This is my Climb Badlands Pro 2XL uh, jacket. This these are this is a vent here. This thing here is a, a little note to ambulance people if I'm knocked out. So this tells you all my info, you know, all that jazz. I'm gonna have to blur that out. So this tells this tells the uh, this card here. Let me hold away out here. This card here tells the doctors emergency contact information name address phone number medical conditions it's pretty good vent vent pocket deep deep pocket pocket i keep my uh, key in there if i leave my jacket on the bike of course I take the key out uh, vent pocket i keep eye drops in there and something else i can't quite recall uh, another pocket vent. It's got the D30 armor. It's really awesome. It's even got chest armor. Soft to the touch, but when you hit it, it gets hard and absorbs the impact. Very nicely uh, made inside. Keeps you cool in the summer, keeps you warm in the winter. Here's the back pad. And of course, my daily kit includes a Sig Sauer P365 in a mini holster. This is uh, my micro carry. Let me show you what the holster. There's the holster. And uh, that, I think it holds 12 plus 1. I got my two magazines of ammo in there, and I got it loaded, of course. It's always condition one. Oh, this has got a kidney belt. I like that. It helps keep the jacket nice and cinched on you. I have the pants that go with it, too. I'm not showing you the pants today because I'm not wearing them today. But they're really nice. Watch my uh, Show Us Your Tetons playlist, and you'll see my pants plenty. All right, now to the boots. So what boots am I wearing? I am wearing the... Alpine Stars Toucan boots. You can see how they uh, tighten up. You can you know, flip these things here. I like this system. It's very secure. It's got the plastics where you need it. It's got the toe box. It's got the ankle protection. It's got the torsion protection. Uh, they're uh, waterproof. They are Gore-Tex lined. Tough as nails. About the best boot you can get for touring, in my opinion. Uh, you can get tougher boots. You can get the uh, Alpine Stars. Uh, what the heck were those things called? Uh, Tech 10. That's the ones. They make a Tech 10 as well. That's pretty good. But that's a bit too tall and a little bit too inflexible for the kind of riding I do. It's more motocross. These are kind of a hybrid motocross and touring. And they're very comfortable. I'm walking around in them all day a lot of times. When I get to school, I don't feel like changing into my sneakers. So I love these boots. Best boots I've ever owned. I used to care more about the look of the boots, like fashion. I wanted my boots to be fashionable. I had them harley type boots before and i've modified over time i've changed the evolve whatever you want to call it now it's mostly about the safety and the comfort here's inside my saddlebag you can see i've got my held airstream two gloves this has got two entry points you can enter the top part or the bottom part bottom part brings you closer to the surface which is for hot weather top part takes you farther away from the surface which is for cold weather it's got all the nice stuff that you want in terms of protection but uh, hard as a bastard to get on I've got my glove liners I got this from uh, cycle gear freeze out gloves 
haven't really needed them the heated grips do a great job then I've got these other ones these are my uh, scorpion something or other gloves I think I put it in the description but it's got you know the carbon fiber knuckles and all that and I thought that these were for summertime riding but they're not really but they kind of are I mean they got vent holes so maybe they are for summertime that's what I wanted I wanted white gloves that were protecting me for the hot weather and so that's what these are I assume I didn't get too hot in these and they're, they're a little bit big for me but uh, they, they seem to fit all right the, what size are these I don't even know these are 2XL that's probably why they're a bit big for me so there you go I probably could have got 1XL and then stretched them but I can get 2XL and then shrink them with water right there you go nice rainstorm as you can see other assorted junk in there so uh, that's pretty much my daily gear I'm not wearing my pants that I normally wear these are just regular pants these are old navy pants paint stained no armor in them whatsoever but usually I have my iron worker jeans that I got at cycle gear and they've got the knee pad and it's Kevlar lined this not Kevlar lined if I went down right now these jeans would last about a second and a half so that's pretty much it for me uh, I'll show you what's inside my little glove box here got my cable for charging my phone if I need to I got my garage door opener other assorted things this is for my helmet it goes in the side over there so I can lock my helmet to the bike if I need to flimsy but better than nothing here's my mount for my GoPro that's the one that you're, that you're watching this video from right now so I can make videos with this notice I've got it really expertly anchored down with some velcro strapping that's real sexy <laughs> all for my viewers I've got this uh, big ass mug holder I've used it a few times it comes in really handy when you're going to the drive-thru and you got some drinks or a drink put it in there get to where you're going and then you can drink without a problem so there's that I've got my cell phone holder this is a TAC form phone mount this is from uh, Gold Strike this is TAC form very adjustable very durable that's all metal I like that so that's pretty much all the gear I guess I can't really think of much else I have the the rider backrest this is from Honda so it's uh, adjustable you take this cover off you can screw stuff to make it more that way or a little bit more that way haven't had to really adjust it from original I put this in this used to just be a red reflector and now it's an actual light a running light that was pretty easy to do by myself and I think that was pretty much it oh yeah 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 almost forgot let me go to the other side over here this is my titanium rider peg protector puck I have this in the description as well I like to scrape as you can see and this thing is very durable and it's lasted a long time and I scrape a lot so I'm protecting my rider peg from any damage some people say geez that's such a small rider peg don't you miss your footboards from your Harley no no I don't because I can put my foot flat on it I can bring it back a bit put it forward a bit turn my foot out a bit on my toes this I feel like it gives me more options than I ever had with footboards especially on the other side with the, the heel toe shifter I used to have so I really like those some of you might think that this is a thing that you step on to get on the back nope that's the thing you step on the passenger uh, footboards this is a, a pipe guard saddlebag guard there's a big u-shaped roundish bolt goes in there same thing over here which I have scraped kind of a lot 
Oh yeah, these are Rifco highway pegs. This is the mount form, covers up the Honda thing. Oh well, you can flip them in with your toe as you're riding. Flip them in and out. Only thing is the, the color goes away. Oh well. As I said, I'm more into the function and less into the look, as you can probably tell by how dirty the bike is riding in the rain. So, that's my gear. I hope you've enjoyed this little video. Somebody asked for it, so there you go. Somebody said, I wish you had close-ups of the stuff you talk about. There's the close-up for you. I'm Kaylee7. I'll talk to you later.